Hi everybody, Neil Brewer of IOGenerative here with another Resolum tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to isolate feedback so that you have a lot more control over the final video image. Now, if we take the, a feedback source and just throw it in, you get an, ex an expected result. It starts to uh, create a, a video feedback loop. Um, however, those of you who use feedback a lot might already know this issue. If you take something like a bloom and put it on the composition, suddenly it just completely washes out. It has unexpected results. It's not what we wanted. We wanted a nice bloom effect onto the final image. And this isn't that. So what can we do? Let's take that bloom off and turn off that feedback. So I already have a group set up. You can make a new one right here and you just put your layers into that group. And instead of a feedback source, we're going to take a video router. I'll pop that in there and not much has changed. Um, so what we want is we want this video router to act as a feedback source, but only for this group. And we can do that really easily by going down to the input here and changing it to group one. And now, now it's going to start behaving as a video feedback source. So that's really cool. But now what happens if we put an effect onto the composition? Let's take that bloom. Let's put it on and there we go. The bloom effect does not enter into the feedback loop. It only affects the final result. And this is really cool because that means that you can use feedback not only with effects, but you can also use other content and put it on top without that entering into the feedback loop. So if we put all this stuff in the group and then put, say, these moons, see how the moons aren't actually entering into the feedback. And if we put it back down, there we go. Also, um, if any of you are interested in these visual, visual clips that I'm using here, you can find them in the fear pack on iogen.io. These are fully, fully generative, uh, made entirely from native Resolume sources and effects. You can find, uh, let me just show you that real quick. Um, so we'll use this as an example. Uh, this is made from initially a shaper and then a series of effects. So we can just bypass that. You can see that these are the effects that this clip is made of. Anyways, um, I hope this, uh, this tutorial has maybe taught you something new and I hope that it can help you in creating your VJ sets.